Hello everyone, this is Hugh. I got a question via email from Jim. And Jim mentions that he watched my tutorial on permalinks and he did everything that I, I uh, showed him how to do, but he got an error message saying that he needs to update his .ht access file now. And this is what's going to happen on certain hosts. Um, one of the primary reasons that I suggest HostGator is because the uh, WordPress install is so easy and you don't get errors like this. But on other hosts, you're going to have these some of these issues sometimes. Um, their installs are not as clean, and you're going to have some problems. And I, I came across this problem before when I was with another host too, so I understand. So um, I did some research, and this is how I would approach this problem. First of all, you want to go into your control panel and scroll down to files, and then click on File Manager and then you're going to get the file manager here. Now wherever your WordPress blog is installed that's where you want to be. Um, in my case I have it in the root under public underscore HTML so that's where I'm going to put my um, .ht access file. Um, if you have it stored in a subfolder, for example if your um, your website is www.whatever.com and you have a slash and then maybe you have like blog or uh, WordPress or something else after that then it's going to be in a subfolder off of there so uh, you want to you want to look at the folder that has the WP admin content and includes in it and that's the folder where you want to stick this dot ht ht access file okay so what we want to do now is you want to go down uh, below this video and I have a copy of the code there um, this is the code that I got from the uh, wordpress.org website and this is what you need to put in there to um, fix the permalinks problem. This is going to put in mod rewrite capability into your website. And so I'm just going to copy it like this. Copy. And then I'm just going to paste it into a notepad file. And then I'm going to save it as. dot ht and just remember to have the dot in front there because that's going to be uh, what the server looks for okay so once you have that file created you want to go to your control panel and or I'm sorry your file manager and as you'll notice there's no dot ht access file in here and um, sometimes some hosts have them some hosts don't some hosts hide them from you um, you know when you use this online um, file manager. Uh, that's just a security issue so that people can't get to it and edit it. But um, most hosts will allow you to create your own ht access, um, .ht access file and upload it and that file will either overwrite the existing one or it will append to the existing one. So in the case of HostGator, um, they say that it's going to append to the current ht, ht access file. So that's what we're going to do here. So when you get to here, you want to upload that file that you just created. Browse. And then find. Oops, not there. There we go, the HT access file. And be sure it's .ht access uh, and nothing after that. So it's uploading. Now it says complete. So we're going to close this down. And we're going to reload this to refresh it. And we're going to scroll down and see if that file came out anywhere. OK, let's reload it one more time. Okay, so yeah, it's not appearing here, and that's probably because the um, the online file manager is hiding it. So what I would do is I would go in and I would try um, to save your permalink structure again and see if that works. Um, that's You go in there by going to the dashboard and going down to 
permalinks under settings and I would try changing that again and if that doesn't work then what I would do is I would try to download a um, FTP program um, there's a link below this video I suggest using FileZilla it's a free program and it works really well and you can go in there and um, <clears throat> take a look at your files and you may you might be able to see the uh, .ht access file in there and be able to download it and edit it or at least overwrite it um, and a lot of this I, I'm sorry for the vagueness but a lot of this really depends on the host that you're on and if this video doesn't help you then I would suggest contacting your host technical support and you know seeing what they can do for you uh, in terms of getting this running uh, if not, then you know I would suggest moving over to something like HostGator, where where the WordPress install is a lot easier. So um, I hope that helped. Uh, I'm sorry for not being able to be more specific, but this t this type of thing really does depend on your your host. So thanks for watching, and if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to contact me at website rockstars.com and go to the contact page and I'll be happy to try and answer your questions. Okay, thanks a lot.